Hi everybody, I'm Moom and I welcome you all to Moomna's Life Handmade. Today I'm participating in a challenge called Flippin' Friday being hosted by Jami from Board or Bananas. She asked us to take any item or space in our home and give it a new look, a makeover or a flip. Uh, link to Jami's channel and to the playlist that she has created is given in the description box of my video for more ideas. Today I'm sharing with you two simple projects, two easy projects and very quick easy updates on them and I gave them a new look, a new decor and they look really nice in my home. I hope you would like them. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about doing lots and lots of DIYs, taking up something ordinary and giving it a special and useful purpose and doing other things that is related to home all within budget. And if you love the content of my channel, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button given below. And do hit that little bell icon so that you're notified each time I post my videos. There was an old wall clock in my husband's home when I moved in. Rigid, bland, black and white clock. And I was kind of happy when it stopped working. I made a DIY video in which I took the clock apart and its machinery away and added a hand painted backdrop and made a new look for it for a fall picture frame. I even revamped it for the winter decor. Both the videos will be available in my DIY and decor and other playlist. I never liked the black beveled edge so today finally I again took the frame apart and painted the walls with this dull grey green shade of acrylic paint by mixing a little green, blue, black and white. shows brush strokes but the second coat just finished it beautifully. Somehow this dull color is very soothing and kind of brings a little happy feel to the space. Now the picture frame is looking really pretty with this new color and uh, this is a shiplap uh, kind of a background of matting that I made some time back by drawing parallel lines with felt tip pens and some shading with some crayons. I did this in my previous videos, you can check them and I made this slit through which this uh, picture can be attached. This is made according to 4x6 picture and it fits in really well inside this. I had used this uh, as a template for making this out and then I can easily just place it in. This uh, black and white background makes the picture stand out very well and goes really beautiful with this outside frame and this frame will look really pretty on my cream colored walls. So now I place this back and this is ready. I think the new color of this frame looks great on my cream colored walls. It stands out on the wall and looks very cheerful too. I find using picture frames a great way to change up for season or occasion. I made this Mackenzie's Child inspired sign for spring. 
the P2 is in my Spring DIY and also in the DIY and Decor playlist. I shall give it a change now for the coming season or maybe this is going can be used the year round. So I'm just going to change this sign for a new fresh sign. So this, I got this printed. I found these pictures on internet and had them printed on photographic paper. And uh, this is of the size which would fit in very beautifully in this. And this is 5 by 7 size picture frame. So a 5 by 7 size uh, picture for this. And I'm just going to update it. It's got a beautiful picture of birds, nests and in the plants and it's just so pretty so i'm just going to write a simple quote here one can even cut it out and add a picture here so i want to write bless our nest Next I shall just cut it to the desired size. And just uh, replace the existing one with this one. This looks beautiful. Bless our nest. The color goes so well with the wooden frame here and the golden knobs. It's just gorgeous. The frame looks beautiful in my warm toned decor. The sign in wood and gold with birds and trees is beautiful. The pattern and colors are so dreamy and comforting and I shall cherish it for a long time. I hope you liked my today's projects, my today's DIYs, my small little efforts to update to decor pieces. Thank you so much for your time and if you are new here, please subscribe. I really appreciate your time and support and I'll see you very soon in my next video, in my next DIY. Until then, be positive, be creative and be happy.